Patreon member shout out. You made a mess of things, my what a mess you made. I hate the way you make me feel, I hate the way you make me. And your world is cold outside, so button up and open wide. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. You guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love you all. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. I apologize for not making a video or streaming yesterday and apologize for not making one this morning or, or having a stream later on this afternoon. It's been a very hectic couple of days. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about my new strategy and this is not for everyone. This is just for me. This is just for what I want to do. I am going to be missing out on a lot of gains from a lot of these collectibles because I... Based on the Master Collector Program article, which I know they said don't do anything crazy uh, based on that article, although people are already, I, I FOMO'd in and I, I bought a second hoverboard set because like, okay, well, I, again, a lot of these will go to the moon. Uh, why? Because there's only a certain amount of these and there's not a lot of people in here yet. These will go and get a lot. But again, I'm saying like, our, you know, that hover, that ultra rare hoverboard set for $400 right now. Excuse me, is that going to be $4,000 in the future? M maybe. You know, maybe it gets to a couple grand, and maybe it does get to there. But, again, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think a lot of these, uh, most of these are not going to go up as much as Omi, at least right away. Some of the collectibles obviously will. Some of the collectibles have already outpaced Omi, like, by a long shot. Uh, especially if you go and you get those comics for $7, you, you immediately, like... 400 or 500 extra money. It's insane. Sometimes even more than that. Um, but uh, the general rule, without the exceptions, uh, I do believe, in my opinion, will not keep up with the pace of Omi in the future. Now, obviously, because of the AMA yesterday, uh, they kind of confirmed that we won't be done with the MT, uh, not the MTL, MTL should be done soon. We won't get done with uh, going on the Immutable X blockchain or Ethereum blockchain via Immutable X until probably late November, so I wouldn't expect exchanges until December. So for me, this is a blessing because now I have the opportunity to sell a bunch of my uh, collectibles for Omi, and I'm going to do so because, I, again, the map is like, but Chavez, you're not going to be able to get some stuff in the Master Collector Program. Uh, you're not going to be able to get, like, certain, you're not going to get as many points if you sell all these, and you're absolutely correct. I Like I said, I'm going to be missing out on a lot of gains from these collectibles and what they have on the drop. Now I'm in the unique finance. I'm in the unique position financially where, if I don't get something on the drop, I can just buy it. it, it for the most part, it doesn't matter what it is. I, at least in the future. Right now, I'm very, very cash poor. But uh, in the future, like I said, it, it won't really matter. Um, I, I could just buy it. And he said, "I know, but Chavez, don't. Didn't you say that land was going to outpace a Com Omi at, at that next time, uh, next year? Yeah, I do think so. I do think. Let's say if Omi 10x is from here." and we're at six and a half, let's say seven cents, how easy is it gonna be for land to 10X or is Omi to 10X? Uh, I, I don't know, uh, but I do see some things in Decentraland, Earth 2, uh, My Neighbor Alice, I, I Sandbox, a bunch of places where you're going and you're buying, and you're getting like a thousand X on your return, more than that. So. I, I think in the future, the land, yes, probably will go up a lot higher, but how much do I have to spend in order to do that? Like, how, like let's say I buy 10 places, and, you know, let's say I overpay for nine of them, but one of them that I get just, you know, a thousand X's. Okay, well, that's definitely worth a lot more than uh, makes up for the loss that I did for overpaying for the other nine. But, I, again, like, how much are they really going to go for? Is it... Like if I pay five hundred dollars for a parcel of land and a ten x is to five thousand, that's pretty good. That is that is a pretty good deal. That is better than than most investments that any investment will ever get you. But in my where my thoughts are going here is that okay, can I get, how many times can I get lucky? How many times am I going to buy land uh, and then uh, even if I buy it for five thousand dollars and then eventually sell for fifty thousand dollars? All right, that's a lot better. Like, somebody, they get, you know, these, these newbie gains, or they get the gains, uh, and they decide to sell out real quick, which is fine. I mean, by all means, 10x your money, that is fine. Uh, and then, like, 
you know, a year or two later, I can sell it for 50000 Travis, that's an extra $45,000. That's real money. That's more than a lot of people, most people make in a year. If you want to be in the 1% in the world, you have to be making like $36,000 a year. Uh, and you're, you're in the 1% in the world by making that. It's like, yes, you're, you're absolutely correct. But where I, again, my end goal has always been to help animals. It's always been to build these sanctuaries, always been to buy land and donate into conservation areas. When Omi's at 70 cents, I, I, I have $45,000 is not going to mean that much to me. You know, when you have 70 million, um, you know, when it's a do- So I will, for the most part, I'm going, I'll, I'll still participate in these drops because one, they're fun. I'm still going to be doing these live streams because they're fun. I love seeing everyone every day. Um, but I'm going to sell a lot of my, the ones that I like, I'll keep. I'll keep my Captain America ones. I'll keep my Spider-Man ones. I'll, I'll keep the ones that, that I like and I'll keep all the ones from season one because I do want that, uh, I do want the, uh, what do you call it? I completely forget what I was saying. Oh no, I do want that museum uh, in the VV verse. Where if VV doesn't do that themselves, I'll, I'll do that myself. Uh, and and of course, I I want land. I'm going to get land in there anyway. But it's going to be for play, for fun, like for for to do things. It's not going to be for investment. Uh, will the land that I buy go up anyway? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and like I said, I want to do it for fun, passion project to be able to go and make a legit Mario Kart circuit. I mean, again, I'm assuming that we do have Nintendo as well, and I'm assuming that they're probably going to have something like that. Oh, drive these Mario Kart go-karts with your uh, avatars. And obviously it wouldn't just stop there. You'd have it with Disney, you'd have it whatever. Um, but, like I said, I, I want to do that for fun. The the investment side of me, for the most part, is really just going to be only because that's easier. Uh, and And that's what I'm doing. So... Everyone, I'm not. I'm not leaving. I'll. I'll be here always. I'll be doing because again, YouTube, same thing. It's a passion project. Um, but just last night, kind of just made me reconsider and and recon. Uh, and again, because uh, again, what point is trying to do a lot of this stuff, master collector program, if these points expire after six months? Which again is great for a lot of people. You want to be able to go in and get guaranteed, get a guaranteed drop for like a hundred dollars, whatever. And then you get that, and you don't have to pay like five thousand for it on the, um, on the market, which is insane. Uh, that, that's a lot of money. So I understand that. But again, for me, when when this goes, and again, I'm in a new, unique position. This doesn't affect anyone else. But if you do have a lot of Omi like me, or if you have a bunch of collectibles and a little bit of Omi, and I, I, I think it would be okay to reason, and a good argument can be made that you say like. Selling a bunch of these for Omi because most likely Omi is going to go higher than than most of the collectibles, not all. Um, you know, you see, look at look at what's been happening with Mana uh, from Decentraland. It's got like twelve billion dollars in buy orders in in volume. It's nuts. If that happens to Omi, Jesus, tap dance. Oh my God. So so yeah, that that is the reasons why I'm doing things. Again, I will get back to streaming on Sunday, and then we'll we'll go from there. But everyone, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. And everyone check out Star Helix and VV Vault on YouTube and at not Star Helix and at Hey David Don on Twitter. All right, bye-bye, guys. Meow, meow, meow.